Who do? For EMF Camp 2024, I'm making an electrically powered tracked tricycle. As part of the steering for this, I'm going to need some bent steel plate parts. And this uh, video is how I went about making them. I used the unfold function of the Fusion 360 sheet metal system to get a 2D outline of the part. I inserted a line at the centre of the fold and I'm going to create a groove here as a guide for the bending machine blade. Here's my Artroid plasma cutter making the groove. I'm just using a low power setting so I don't actually pierce the steel plate. And then the second one at full power to cut it out. So here's the plate after it's been cut out. You can see the groove there and that is what's going to align in the blade of the bender. The groove helps me line everything up on the bending machine. Uh, it went quite well. You can feel like a little snag as it goes in and I really do need to mount this bending machine to the bench in a slightly more effective way. I'm quite pleased with the way that turned out. Not perfect, but good enough. The second part is going to be harder because there are two bends, each one in a different direction. I can put the score lines only on one side with the plasma cutter, but the second bend is going to be on the wrong side of the material to line up with the bending blade. I've just put a couple of arrows on here to show the bending directions for both uh, bend lines. So I designed a 3D printable alignment piece. Two of these will sit in the V-groove of the bender and the sharp ridge on top will locate in the groove on the workpiece and being triangular they should centre underneath the bending blade and with about a 10% infill it takes about 10 minutes to print two of them. So another low power cut to make two grooves this time for the bending alignment. And a full power cut to release the part. So here I am placing the alignment guides into the V groove of the bender. Uh, I had to make a couple of tries at these to get the dimensions right but in the end they fit okay. So this is me trying to align the groove with the ridge on top of the alignment part. It's a bit hard to hold the GoPro and align it at the same time but you get the idea. This is quite a wide bend in 4mm plate steel and it really did max out my little bending machine. The alignment blocks are destroyed as part of the bending process. So I've had to make two plates and with all the bends done it's not looking too bad. The inward facing seam did burst out but I was sort of expecting this. Uh, I'll just run the welder down it to fill it in and it'll be fine. So at the end of it I was pretty pleased with the way this turned out. It wasn't super accurate but it really helped me get everything sorted out on my basic bending machine and the end result is good enough and that's fine by me. If you like this I'm going to be doing loads more updates on the track track as I develop it. A new video will be coming pretty soon so please like and subscribe.